Hey, we're doing a live show tomorrow. Some confusion, Anthony. Oh, some moronic listeners are bitching because they're saying we're we're off tomorrow. We're not off tomorrow. We come in, we do a regular show tomorrow, and then we start our uh, our little vacation after the show. So we are indeed on the air tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be a shitty show, but oh, it's going to stink on ice. Please, we've Talk always about calling it in. Yeah, we've always been known for just having an awful show before vacation because we're so distracted. <laughs> Why should it be any different than school? Remember that the last school day before vacation? What did you get accomplished? Nothing. Mm-hmm. Same way here. That's Don't. why we're trying to give you a really good one today. Trying, anyway. Trying. I think tomorrow's going to be a bit of a pre-vacation dud. <laughs> well, Bob Kelly's sitting in for you, so that's not good. Jimmy's not <laughs> here. Oh. Bob is great. <laughs> yeah, Bob is great. No, Bob's been giving us great radio. I, I love the fact that we're kind of reinventing ourselves in front of everyone. You know, a lot of people are like, why aren't you bringing back this person and that person? Because Anthony and I know best. We know yes. we went to the well uh, too many times with a lot of people, and it's just time to come up with new characters. New blood. New blood. I mean, mm -hmm. come on. Dee Dee's a star already. Absolutely. Absolutely. The new Andre is a star. Pat from Monarchy. Oh, please. There's not one Celebrity. comic that does this show, whether it was Keith or Bobby or Billy, that isn't amazed how much fun it is to have this freedom. And just yep. to do what you want and be laid back, and it's just it's amazing how much, how much fun. You, you can't do commercial radio after this. It just sucks. We ruin it. Dude, it's awful after yeah. doing this. Mm -hmm. You know, i got to break in for a second. Uh, they, they said Wiki up here. Yep. Wiki is uh, an expert that's been sent up from Washington. Yeah. Because they, they just don't, you know, uh, well, you guys have heard us bitch, obviously, about the equipment right. over and over and over again, and they try to fix stuff. We we have conversations over the phone, and then we have meetings down there, and they finally decided to to send an expert up, this yeah. guy Wiki, who's a very cool guy, by the way, right? Yeah. As you guys are talking, he's just staring at these meters over here and just shaking his head, going, "What? What? 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 What is that? It's like nothing I've ever seen, and nothing that's supposed to be there. <laughs> is that bad? It's just a mess, right? That's bad, right? It doesn't look good. It doesn't look, look good. good. <laughs> yep. Because there was a point where the people in Washington said, well, maybe Opie and Anthony just don't know how to use the equipment yeah. right. Yeah. He's, uh, he's the reconnaissance team for uh, the people that are going to be coming up and fixing the studio while we're on vacation. Yeah. So he's here to look and see how the show works and, and see what equipment needs fixing. And then he's going to translate it to the people because we're morons and a lot of, as far as a lot of this stuff goes. We can't really tell them what the problem is, you know. So he's the guy that's going to look around and make sure he relays it to them in the proper terminology. And then they can come in here and fix it. And then we come in after the vacation, Opie. It's going to be like paradise in here. Oh, I'll be able to hear myself loud and clear. No more phone problems. I think there's going to be some fine-tuning, mm -hmm. which we're uh, willing to accept. And Because yeah. we want to bitch less. Because now we know we're going to take it to the next level. I mean, yep. we are attempting the, the biggest comeback in radio history. And we're psyched to the fact that we're going to be off the premium. <laughs> yeah. So many more listeners. A ton of uh, listeners are going to be piling into this program. Mm -hmm. A bunch of them are going to hate it and, and never listen. But Did you hear my suggestion in the meeting? What? I said, <clears throat> Is there a way we can have a, a phone pad put in front of Opie so we can dial out instead of having to say, Eric, run in there, call this number. Because in the old days, we used to just beep, boop, boop, doo, doo, we used to just dial. And they were like, phone line out. Sure. I'm like, God damn, that's great. And who's the guy who's like the really big, the, the real uh, genius of all this, this stuff? Ed? Is that who is in there? Yes. Ed Schwartz. He's, I think, currently on, on, on trial for murder. That psychopath. <laughs> he does look oh, like shit. Is he nuts? <laughs> he looks oh. nuts, but he knows what he's doing. Oh, he's a he, genius. No, he talks, and I have no clue what he's talking about. No. He just rattles this satellite stuff off like a, he's talking about a simple uh, uh, arithmetic. And it's just the most involved thing. He's talking about what units need to be installed here. and and everything will be fixed. Those big glasses, and he is just, he's a brilliant guy. Oh, yeah. And then you say, how do I talk to a girl? And he goes, <laughs> 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 He's got a mind like Stephen Hawking. Oh, uh, yeah, he, I think he knows how to dig a, what's called a shallow grave. Oh, I, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah. You're going to find dead prostitutes somewhere with just like, with little XM stickers over their mouths. Oh. Somewhere in the Sierra Mountains. 
Well, they say when you're a genius like that, another part of your brain definitely suffers. So. Yes. Little pink blood-stained Kango hat in his trunk. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, little little uh, pimento bugs and other things only native to Florida all over the windshield. <laughs> <laughs> So there's going to be a lot of excitement when we get back from vacation as we take this to the next level, Anthony. And don't forget. Is he coming here to help uh, oh, yeah. supervise the fix? Really? The whole A team is coming in. So he's coming from Washington to New York. Does he have to re register even if he's just staying here for a <laughs> short period of time? Or? Yeah. It's going to be a whole pit crew coming up. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Psyched. So. And don't forget, the first day back from vacation, we're going to be in Boston. Mm hmm. That's uh, first two days. First two days, yes. All the info is up on opianthony.com. But basically, uh, April 11th, we're doing our show from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. East Coast time because it's opening day for the Sox. They're playing the Yanks. We're going to be at Bill's Bar in Lansdowne Street. That's right behind the Green Monster. It's mm -hmm. going to be just a zoo. 21 oh, and up. Yeah. 21 and up. And a lot of you guys bitch. Hey, man, we're under 21. We'd love to hang out with you guys, blah, blah, blah. So Tuesday, we're going to do a whole thing at uh, Paradise, the Paradise, whatever. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do our regular show, 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. East yeah. Coast time. And that's just for 11 through 14. Yes, <laughs> All ages. I know, it's getting a little confusing. So just go to foundrymusic.com and opianthony.com and help us spread the virus on that thing. Spread the word because we're not going to be able to promote that too well. Okay? Slim from Buffalo just looked at the Jimmy plant picture. All Jimmy's missing is a corsage and a prom dress. <laughs> <laughs> Could he get any more of a nuzzle under Robert Plant? Well, Robert you, was nuzzling me too. I mean, we were nuzzling each other. You were both nuzzled. I didn't nuzzle him. Look at his smile. He's a very, very... A willing recipient he of that canoodle. Bedroom eyes he had on too. Dreamy. Little bedroom dreamy Who's eyes. This little dreamy man. Uh, yeah. You know what, Jesus, know what I like Jimmy, about? You, you look ahead. like you're giving Robert Plant a hand job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would have had a respect. Yeah, you have to. I'm what? a Sabbath fan over Zeppelin, but I have a tremendous respect for Plant. Know what I like about my Robert Plant picture? You could read his mind, and it says, "Just take the fucking picture." Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and your I eager exactly. smile. <laughs> Hi guys. Look, I'm here with my pal Bobby Plant. <laughs> I got a great Ozzy photo, too, where he's got his arm around me. He's hanging his arm around me, smiling, pointing oh, at me. Buddies. Oh, how fantastic. Buddies. Fantastic. We had a good week. Dude, we had a great week. Good week. And that Monday push was the best thing. If yep. we had gone down to D.C. Monday, Tuesday, we would have missed Ozzy and Robert Plant. Yeah, true. Oh, look at that. Everything worked oh, out for the best. How rare is that in my life? Never. Never. You didn't ruin uh, the Robert Plant moment with a, a bad uh, prostitute. I'm just looking at what... what Oh, wow, right? We, we, we got, got whores. A, a girl in the studio. <laughs> oh, B, you ruin it every time before they come in. She's sitting in front of the window. Wow. Very wearing nice. what, pink what pants? What a lovely girl. Got pink pants, uh, a little shirt on. I'll say. A tiny shirt. Wow, well, and and uh, very nice. Oh, goodness. Very nice implants, yes. She's going to come in in a little while. My word. It's so funny. Uh, speaking of which, we got to get Steve in here and maybe Ben in here. So we take the, uh, the Accela back up from Washington, right? Yeah. And uh, we got on the train at uh, 2 o'clock. We had the whole train to ourselves. We're pretty much all sitting separately, all nice, you know. And as you get closer and closer to New York, you get all the businessmen coming up, coming on the, the train. And they all have to get their cell phones working because it's so important that uh, they get business done as, a, shot as the train goes to New York. Quiet. And I realized uh, that we're just a bunch of scumbags because... We're sitting in a, in a four-seater, basically, two people facing Steve and I, because now uh -huh. the train is completely packed. Uh, uh, when it hits Philly, forget it. All hell breaks loose. Yep. All these guys come on, and, and women, business uh, people, and they're all on their cell phones, their Blackberries, their laptops, just doing business left and right. Sell, sell, sell. It's just, it's just nuts. And uh, Norton is the only one that has an empty seat for a while. Really? He, and he even lost a battle, because he looks like a complete psychopath on purpose. Yeah. So no one will say, he's got traveling just figured out down to the table. Well, me and Ben were sitting, and I, I won't do this again. We get on the train in Washington where it starts, so it's empty, and I have to face forward to get motion sick. So we have those, those two chairs, and then a little table in between, and then two seats facing you. Right. I could never face backwards, or I'd vomit. Mm -hmm. The problem with the seats with the table is they don't go back as far because the wall is behind you. Right. But you can put your feet up on a seat, but when it fills up, you don't want to sit across from someone because I don't want my knees touching someone else's knees. Those are the worst seats for people that you don't know. Like yeah. if you have four people traveling together and they're all sitting there, you have your little conversation. But to have to sit for hours staring someone you don't know in the face like that, 
It's awful. Those seats are like the old World War II movies where the guy escapes from the Nazi POW camp, sits down, and he's right across from the Gestapo guy, <laughs> yeah. and he's got to sit there and talk German to him and stuff. That's how uncomfortable it is when someone sits across from you. You have no clue who they are. Well, Jimmy, uh, knees. Yuck. yeah, it's awful. Jimmy puts his hood on really tight and just has a psycho look. Yeah, and psycho no one, look. And no one will sit next to him. And I'm nice. listening to my music. I got my fantastic Bose headphones on my laptop. Yeah. That oh, was great. And we talked about the last time we came back from Washington, I was sitting in the same area as... Uh, oh, you were sitting right behind me. That's right. And... Uh, what Norton did last time was make believe he's sick. Yeah, he was hacking this hacking cough up, and the woman and not moved. only just making the sick noises. All of a sudden, he leans over to me and go and he goes, "Man, I just can't wait for this flu to be over or whatever." Oh, I'm really sick. <laughs> I'm really oh, sick. This sucks. This businesswoman sat next to me, and she's talking to a fucking boss in front of me. I've got business in the office. And I'm like, this bitch is gonna get up at the next stop, and I'm like, <coughs> oh, yeah. I'm like telling all, oh man, this flu is killing me, and I know that this twat is getting upset. Yeah. That's right. Beat it, stupid. Find another seat. So, uh, the observation I want to make, everyone's uh, doing their business calls, okay? You know, give me a few examples. Some guy's trying to sell stock or whatever, and Ugh. some guy is like, am I, you know, is... Uh, well, stupid office talk. Yeah, well, yeah, but... but uh, There's a lot of attorneys, I noticed. Attorneys. Bob, meet me at the office, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we'll discuss that file that I've yeah, shut yeah. up. And we're sitting across from a lady that, I guess her job is to taste cake. She has some kind of what? business where she tastes cake. Is that what you got? I, I, I heard her talking about getting rights to use a recipe. Yeah, getting oh. rights to... We, we can use the recipe, but we don't own the recipe. Tasting cake? Maybe she's a porn girl and you misheard her. No, this is... <laughs> <laughs> and then she's, she's talking Off about... Uh, uh, letter. Uh, 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 cost points or, or uh, whatever that term is in the corporate world. Point costs or something. Ugh. We got to keep even like hearing it. We got to keep that down. She's like, I taste. We do. I tasted some cake today and it was really good, but it, but it's going to be too expensive because it's going to raise our, uh, our our I don't know. Own some kind cost of cost per point or something food like that. service something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so you get all these business conversations that you kind of listen in on a little bit, and they're all interesting. You got the attorneys, you got the guy selling stock, you got this guy that's really important that's setting up a meeting in Chicago has to make sure this is right. Blah 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 blah. And then Steve decides he has to make his business calls. Yeah. And uh -oh. it, yeah. And he's not shy. Like I hate hate talking, you know, uh, anyone knowing I'm there basically, okay? Yeah. So Steve's sitting next to me and all these conversations are going on and Steve starts his calls. So yeah, uh Yoshi, uh yes, uh we got your latest porn. The guys, thank you. And then he calls some guy John or whatever, John from John from the Sex Expo. Yes, John, we will uh the guys will have the porn chicks in tomorrow. It's like that scene out of Clerks. Yeah. yeah where the guy's ordering the videos with the woman and her baby. Exactly. And the videos. Exactly. Story. I need chocolate ass fuckers <laughs> volume three <laughs> right, through right, nine. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Not, I actually, I try to be discreet about it, but number one, the subject matter makes it very difficult to be discreet. Also, my voice carries. Of and I, no matter how, how softly it's I speak. cozy. But it's yeah. funny because it's a business conversation like everyone else is doing, yeah. but the business we're in is a little different, uh -huh. as we all know. So he's like setting up the the meeting with the porn stars. I need cum gurgling teenage <laughs> suck sluts. Right. Yeah. You got that, Yoshi? <laughs> so yeah. And well, the lady that's the cake tester that's sitting across from us is looking up like, what? Yeah. The, what what do these guys do for a hey, living? It's business. Yeah, but you missed it. The guy that was sitting with us, one of the guys just got up and left after he heard me and Jim talk for a few minutes. He just had had it. Oh, really? <laughs> Except for, yeah, it was me and him. And then the guy who looked like Mark Price, which is Skippy from Family Ties, sits next to me. And as seats started to open, when you go from uh, Philadelphia to Metro Park, you're going to have a few seats open. Yeah. Because uh, Metro Park's a big stop. And it's like, so you, the, your thing you should do is just get up and get out of my fucking way. Just go. <laughs> Go sit someplace else, but he just sits there for the remainder of the Why ride. Why not get up and move? I really was annoying me. No one wants anyone else next to Don't you. try to look polite. He was trying to be polite and not get up. Be oh. rude. Go. Oof. And then a guy sat down right in our area. Bite, a, bite his face. <laughs> Dude, when I, had, I always take my shoes off when I travel, and as soon as I had to move over and bend down across each other, I took both of my feet, and oh. I just rested them on his. <laughs> I rested both of my feet on Ben's. And his <laughs> fucking... <laughs> so get off. <laughs> that one guy, he was, like, doing business, and I'm like, we're talking about Ozzy, and, you know. But the business call, Steve, were, was making so loud on the train. I'm like, oh, my God. Well, Steve this talks loud, too. This you guy talk loud because your hearing's messed I up. I just I'm need, and, and he speaks so clearly. Because yeah. he, he fucking, no one can misinterpret what he said. Yeah. This guy, yeah, he has the biggest balls. He doesn't care. I just need, um, 
Uh, it was I, I was trying to set up the girls for today, and I wanted to make sure they weren't going to be these petrified but he girls. Up like he's a, a legitimate businessman. Oh, no. All right, so the the whores will arrive at eight o'clock, and uh, well, it's up to them what they want to do in front of Opie and Anthony. But they're hoping that they get naked, and possibly finger each other. Yeah. And well, I'm just like, Steve, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, uh, they willing they to show agree. their pussies? <laughs> right. <laughs> would they agree to a thumb in their asshole? Yeah. yeah, he's negotiating like every other business guy on the train. It's just the nature yeah. of the negotiation is a little bit different. Like that's all. Mergers and acquisitions. All right, they can do the double dildo, but one of them has to take it in the ass, and we're not going to bend on that. <laughs> Next stop, Newark. Next stop, Newark. We need them to eat box. <laughs> they must both eat box. So one of them rub Jimmy's cock through his pants if he doesn't yeah. take it out. So, so <laughs> I'm just mortified. I'm looking down, and I'm... I'm looking at Steve, and I'm trying to get his attention, like, will you shut the fuck up? And then I look up across the way, and there I see Cake Lady just <laughs> looking horrified, and she can't she can't get out of her seat because the, the train is packed, and she just wants another seat so badly. <laughs> <laughs> that was also part of the idea. I really don't like being in those confined spaces. Oh, it was, cl- the ant. It yeah. was just classic. Yeah. It was classic. So, And then the, a guy sat behind me, and he has a MiFi. Oh, yeah? And, of course, Ben, who knows everything, you know, Ben comes over and goes, that guy is my fight. He's, listening. My fight. He's listening to the show. So now the whole, the rest of the ride from uh, Metro Park to, uh, 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 he got out, yeah, he got offered us in New York. Yeah. I'm kind of taking a peek, seeing if he's enjoying the show. And, of course, there what's while he starts laughing. Oh, like, there you oh, go. Okay, good, good. A happy listener. I could see his face the whole time from the angle I was sitting at. And I didn't recognize, know him until Ben pointed it out. And uh, he had a smile on his face the whole time. He said, like, that kind of, like, half enjoying it. Like, that's what it is well, to watch someone yeah. enjoying the show. Well, that's cool. when this whole satellite radio got cool for me in my neighborhood. I was uh, just walking Columbus Avenue one day, and, uh, you know, I'm sitting on a bench just drinking Starbucks coffee. You know, it was a nice, nice uh, early winter day, I guess, right? And all of a sudden, there's a car in front of me cranking out our show on the replay. And now I'm just staring at him. He has no idea I'm staring at him. And I'm wondering when he's going to, you know, switch around to another channel. You know, because that's what happens with listening habits. If we're boring one day, of course these guys are going to go somewhere else. And he didn't. And he's just laughing along. And I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, go. People are actually listening to this. And they laugh. You yeah, don't see the laugh. reaction of an audience. It's very weird. It's one yeah. of the things I like and hate about it. You like it because you don't have to see their faces when you're eating your nuts. But it's like sometimes it would be nice to see the laughs and the good time they're having. It's a little weird, though, because you, know, you don't want your feelings. So you're like, oh, God. Oh, well, look. Yeah. The guy's enjoying the show. It, it's, it's strange. So. Yeah. All right, we're just babbling today. We got. Um, oh, it's fun. Hey, Steve, before chatting. you leave. Sure. Yeah. The Terry Shavo thing you brought in. It's uh, there was audio up on uh, up on Drudge the other day, and it was a it was actually a dead link, but somebody was nice enough to send it in. It's audio of uh, Terry. Dead Shavos. link is that what they're calling her now? <laughs> oh, you oh. meant on the website, dead Ooh. blank. <laughs> uh, it's audio of Terry Shavos' uh, uh, father speaking to her in bed, and you hear a like, little voice off in the distance, but the one that's really distinct is Terry's, and it's just a lot of. Uh, but is she answering? Yeah, is she? And uh, is this that's legit? The question is this legit yeah. audio? Yeah, I think it is too. I've heard. I've heard I heard this existed. Um, and the link was dead. Though. And how many years ago is this? That I'm not sure about. I've been trying to find out. And can we take this ten years before her accident? And can we take this audio, mix it in with the uh, Patrick O'Brien sex tapes? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, write that down. Yeah. We yes. have one day to uh, take advantage of the the the, the you completely know completely exploit the Patrick O'Brien the, yeah the Pat, the Pat O'Brien, O'Brien sex tapes. tapes. One day left, guys. Yeah. You got to you know send in your mixes. So this is uh, uh, audio of the father talking to her in her hospital bed. Yeah. And does she answer? It's, it certainly sounds like she's answering. I mean, oh. it, they don't really sound yeah. random. That's creepy. She's there starving to death right now. Yeah, I, I don't like this whole thing, man. This is, it is all weird. I don't like her fucking... I don't. I think her ex-husband is, or her husband is just thinking of other motives. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not just, oh, she wanted it that way. This seems like, ah, she's kind of still kicking and... A lot of his money is going to take yes. care of her. Potentially his money. It's probably her money, but since they're, I don't know. Imagine, married. imagine if you will, that Terry. Imagine Sha- if you will, Terry Shivo. Terry Shivo. Shivo, excuse me. Terry Shivo is actually completely there. Wow. But cannot communicate, and they're all looking at her, and, and she can see what's going on in the hospital room. That is a Twilight Zone episode. It's like, dude, do not take that yeah. feeding tube out. Oh my God! I am what are coming you doing? back. I just I'm know. alive. I'm, I'm alive. in here. Will someone hear I'm me? in here. <laughs> right. I'm in here. Oh, that's horrible. You're a serpent in the rainbow. So Haitian hey, hey, just blew something into her face 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Allen. <laughs> You know, I've I've heard stories about people who were in comas, and they say that they heard their family members in the yeah. room. They, there's a girl. There was one girl who was in a coma for 11 years. She was a big Brian Adams fan, 
Her mother took her to a Brian Adams concert. She came out of the coma at the concert. At the cost of everyone else falling into one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Brian Adams, shut up. <laughs> everyone else is out. <laughs> but, you know, it's like they, they say that the, you, there are times when you can hear... But then again, maybe they, they determine she has no brain activity. I don't know. But Yeah, you know, they have ways of doing this. I guess they hook you up to all kinds of stuff and see what kind of electro, electric action is going on in your head. And, and apparently, uh, not much. <laughs> apparently, uh, not too much going on in there. I'm not dead. What? I'm not dead. Yeah. I'm not. I don't want to go. Oh, WC Jump Baby. I feel fine. I think I'll go for a walk. You're not fooling anyone, you know. I feel happy. I feel happy. <laughs> oh, wow. She sounds kind of okay in that. No, I think I agree with the husband. He's right. Oh, Sorry, Ed, that was the uh, the wrong one. Oh, audio. Jesus. <laughs> I'm not dead. <laughs> Am I <a> Python? <laughs> uh, yeah. That's All right, well, you guys want to hear the Terry Shivo? Audio? Uh, absolutely. All right, here it is. Ring, 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 <laughs> banana phone. Ring, 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 banana phone. Asshole! Asshole! <laughs> I'm sorry, Anthony. That uh, obviously is well, not actually, the they, Terry Shivo audio. The, the Terry Shivo audio was pulled off the internet. Because oh, yeah. the internet is for uh, important yeah, audio. Yeah, for other things that and I don't have highlighted. No, here. it's for great audio. I mean, that was where they got it. I remember the Drudge Report had said, and it was like a rumor, was it? Ah, uh, real. Yeah. Or was it a hoax? They yeah. just. Uh, yeah, you you just keep stalling until Anthony finds out. Oh that. no, we're just <laughs> chit chatting. Let's see how good you really are, Jimmy. I'm keep, very good. Because, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> I don't like this whole case. I, I don't like it because I I don't know if she's really uh, the family is fighting too hard to keep her alive. You can't just <laughs> let someone die of thirst. The internet is for porn. <laughs> yes. The internet is for porn. Hawk, mark that for Ant. <laughs> All right, guys, enough. Come on. Let's get into the uh, Terry Schiavo audio. Here's Terry Schiavo being uh, interviewed or talked to by her father. By her father. The internet is for poor. The internet is for poor. Shut me up all night hugging me. Born to porn, porn, porn. All right, Anthony, please. Yeah. I got the audio, okay? Here's Terry Schiavo's right. father talking to her daughter. Uh, you know, I didn't understand that. I'm sorry. All righty. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, Al Franken, and I'm uh, covering this convention. Yeah. And how are, are you having a good time? Ah, uh, yeah. Who have you talked to so far? Bouillon. Bouillon. Maya. Maya. Uh, I, you know, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. It was really nice talking to you. I, I'm glad you're here. I think it's fabulous. Can I shake your hand? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, have a good time. Sticky retard fingers. Oh, you know they're all sticky. Dirty. Slimy. Touching things on the ground, <laughs> picking up pennies and eating them. Stop laughing at me! Stop laughing at me! You stop laughing at me! And I'm fine, Jenna! Stop laughing at me! I'm scared of you! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, that is awful. <laughs> All right, well, the father, Terry Shivo's father, talking to uh, yeah, Terry Yeah, wait, let Shivo. me uh, cue it up. There you All go. All right, thanks. She was the greatest piece of ass I've ever had, and I've had them all over the world. <laughs> he said, well, you know, we don't have to freeze his whole body. We can freeze his head. Uh, Anthony, I have uh, the audio of Terry Shivo's father uh -huh. talking to his daughter. You're a filthy whore! <laughs> you ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> Let's do it! Uh, I don't think that's them. No? No, I think our, our tapes are being confused or something. Okay, let me see if I got any, uh, 
other gags I could go to here. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you got too many to go through there. <laughs> Jesus. I just can never find Can't what that I'm be computerized for, for you? Isn't there something? I know. Shouldn't it be able to? There's 50 just plates. I know it's right in front of my face. I can't find them. All right. Well, that means we have to actually go to the audio. <laughs> I didn't say anything. He says he's looking for, he's like, where's the audio of her? And uh, here come the Are one wars. of the templates missing? <laughs> Holy <laughs> mackerel. Jesus. Wow, we. I'll say yeah, three of them. Oh. Wow, bravo. Those are very short skirts. Not labeled. We got three girls that are going to come in. Are we we gonna, Travis. What did we negotiate with these fine ladies? It's all oh. Steve doing. I know. Cool. Find out from Steve. Oh, wow. Look, there's more. What? No, I know. Where'd they come from? Hey, uh, can we? You want to play the actual audio now? Yeah. All right. What is your major malfunction, nub nuts? Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. The father's a kind of tough on his daughter yeah. there. Yeah. Because you are a disgusting fat body. <laughs> Not that fat. I think she's trimming down now. Ooh, yeah. Ouch. All right. Yeah. All right. Well. Well, the actual audio is just as good as what we, we've been doing the last ten minutes. Here it is. Yeah, let's actually hear it. This is unbelievable. Terry Shibo's father talking to Terry. Hi, Terry. It's three fifty-five. It's three fifty-five on Friday. How are you, sweetie pie? Hi. You got a smile uh, for your daddy? You got a smile for me? Huh? Can you give me a smile? Ah. Uh, Does your back hurt? 
I want to ask you a bunch of Did questions. Like I want to have them answered immediately. Do you like her? Stop whining. Stop whining. Stop it. Do your ears Stop hurt? whining. It's not a tumor. Now we're having fun. I want to eat your pussy. If you want me to fuck you, <laughs> if you want me to stick my fingers in your ass, just go. Uh. <laughs> oh, old creaky door voice. <laughs> yeah, if you want me to fuck you, sound like a Kawasaki jet ski. <laughs> I think they should yank the tube, not because she's not there, just because she's irritating. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Can't understand a fucking thing she says. Oh. Well, so, uh, wow. The dude from Jersey says, now if you play it backwards, she's saying, kill me, you ass. <laughs> Wow, well, there you have it. I think she is definitely communicating on some level. I mean, you know, you think? Dude, she, yeah, he's asking her questions. She's going, I don't, that could just be what, what is, is a human body hooked up to no playlist, just kind of, you know, making sounds. She made the yummy noise. <laughs> Did she make the yummy noise? Yeah. She's going to be singing Putting on the Ritz soon. <laughs> <laughs> what hurts, your mouth? What hurts your ear? Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. <laughs> Put it on the Ritz. <laughs> Put it on the Ritz. Someone's got to take the Pat O'Brien sex tapes and that audio and come up with a oh, little pity for us. no. <laughs> Why not? Oh. Wow, that is really Awful. Just tell Terry you're into her. <laughs> Just pretend that you're into Terry. What an annoying father. Oh, the same... Oh, Every what answer. hurts? Your mouth? Your ear? Your back? What what hurts? What the As fuck do you it, think hurts? He's probably pinching and twisting each one. Does your nose yeah. hurt? He's what hurts? <laughs> honk, honk. Whoa. You should listen a little longer. Do your nipples hurt? Oh. How about your clit? Does this hurt? <laughs> All right, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop. Quiet. <laughs> Whew. We should take a break. I, I finally got a, a good copy of the Bill Hicks bit. She sounds like she's auditioning for the grudge. Uh, oh my God. That was creepy. She made the grudge sound. That's uh, really awful. Creepy chap movie. The body of Christ compels you. <laughs> the power of Christ, Christ compels you. <laughs> Does your eyes hurt? Does your mouth hurt? Your mother sucks cocks in hell. <laughs> this is Kirby and Anthony. The virus is spreading. State of the Union. Gas prices going up again. The Opiate Anthony Show on XM. Oh. Oh, poop goes the weasel. Ramon, give me your sleeve. Big Duties J from Jersey <laughs> says, uh, wait a minute, I know what she's saying. And then he says, doing his best Brian Regan impression, she's lonely. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, if you play it backwards and listen carefully, she's saying Jim Norton at the Fort Lauderdale Improv, <laughs> March 24th through 26th. Call for tickets, 954-981-5653. Thank you. Tonight through Saturday. <laughs> Very funny. Wow. She sounds like a metal detector. Kind of does. I got to tell you. <laughs> 